low. Alright, this is a long overdue video of one of the chassis I have in my RC collection and this is, as you can see, a chassis that I've not been driven for a little while now and it is a handmade 112 uh, 200 wheelbase chassis that is basically uh, what um, what the FP is half based on uh, especially for the front end. Uh, the body I'm using on, on it is a repro body for Team Blue Groove from Canada that I got on eBay that I'm really happy about. I put wing from a Tamiya LMP body. It's supposed to have the wing sticking out at the back but I didn't want to do that. Uh, it's got a little Stormtrooper driving it. So this body is really cool. You see, I'm not the only one with webbing issues. <laughs> <laughs> this is a universal thing. So this is cool. This this body really really makes the car look amazing on the track. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool body as well for the the driving itself. So you can see I have the body post on the side and I have two body posts on the front. And so let's take a look. The reason why I have not driven it for a while is I was using the axle for another car and I have destroyed my servo saber last time I drove it. So um Let's take a look at the chassis. So it is based on an IRS 112 pod uh, for the mud cars that I've mounted on my own T-plate design over there, which is a fairly traditional T-plate with two mounts over there. Uh, it is a F104 Formula One axle that I've shortened, I've cut the axle and so it is now not as wide but it's, it's fairly wide but let me let me see with you, it's 18, it's 180, 180 mm so it's it's about 10 mm wider than uh, than a regular pan car and then uh, carbon plate is a 3 mm plate over there, this is one of my very very early handmade chassis uh, we got a 3mm plate over here, we got a 2mm plate for the T-plate and a 2mm plate for the swaying front end and so this is where I get to test the system of the swaying front end for the first time actually for the second time but for the first time on the 112 the first time uh, was on my classic 110 uh, Formula 1 that I've shown a while ago so it is running a 2S system, as you can see, brushless censored system. I think hey, I have no wheel nuts. Um, I think it's a 17.5, but it might be a 13.5. But this is a kind, it's a little beast, this thing. I'm running the F104 foams at the back, uh, the regular ball D from Tamiya. I've mounted the receiver over there. I have designed my own uh, protector for the axle over there that, that works as a brace as well and then the upper brace is 3D printed. Uh, there used to be a mounting for a fan but then I'm using it now for a new suspension system when I have my 110 touring spring over there and then I have my lateral damper tube. You can see that's mounted over there on what is the battery mount and that serves as well as the body post mount for the side I keep on losing my wheel and then moving to the front so the full front end like on the FP is using this is what uh, started the C hub that I'm using on the trike and that are now I'm now using on the FP as well and as you can see to keep the depth <laughs> I am using 112 wheel in reversed this is the inside of the of the rim, this is the outside. So this way I have a fairly wide car as well. Um, I think it's 15.5 in the front. And so um, I'm running very similar to the FP actually. I'm running uh, pretty soft springs. Um, those, I forgot who makes those, but those are Japanese optional part for the um, uh, F1 car and then I'm using some adapters but bearing insides that fits the 112 onto a 110 
axle. I forgot the, the reference for that. Those are pretty handy, especially if you're using some uh, like RM, uh, RM02 uh, front end. And so, yeah, that's that was basically what started um, my 112 one experimenting. And it went through a lot of different phases. Uh, it went through a phase when it, it originally was supposed to be an M chassis. I designed it primarily before to run it with the Super 5 Renault. Uh, the car would flip all the time. Then I moved to a, a Fiat Abarth 500. Same, uh, it was flipping all the time. And when I was running it without a buddy, it was stuck to the f to the ground. So I decided to figure out what lo what buddy I can use for 112 because this is such a shorter wheelbase and I found out that the very old RM uh, Lola that I showed you before is actually quite short and quite wide and so that's a really good fitment for that chassis and so that's why I've been using it and since then this chassis is really dialed in now uh, I didn't run this at the back originally it was uh, in the front over there on the plate now it's where the receiver would be uh, I'm running it, I have run it only with the shorty LiPo, but now that I have the low center of gravity, I might run it again with the, the LCG batteries. And yeah, having the, the weight at the back is just really good for the traction. It's a, a little bit, you get a little bit more uh, oversteer if, if you play too much, but the weight is not substantial. And, and then yeah, I've, I've tried the front in, in many different configurations, very stiff, very loose with spring without spring so <laughs> yes i need a new servo saver kimbroth and yeah so that's that's it for one of my very early uh very dirty prototype design that is actually what originated both uh the trike with the c hub and the design of the fp now that is a mix of both and yeah, you see this this buddy is really really nice. So I, sug I, I suggest as well to everyone. I'm not sure uh, how they are doing now with the COVID, but go and check Team Blue Groove on eBay. I I know they have uh, some people in Canada selling it, which is where I got mine from. I know they have some in Australia as well, and they do some really good repro of the old everything. And they do a lot of things for stock car as well. One twenty four. But for the old 112s, the old Kyosho, the old Tamiyas, uh, the old Buggies, uh, and then some, some pretty unique things over there. So go go take a look. They don't come with anything. It's really just the Lex and Buddy naked, no stickers, no uh, Windows mask, no nothing. So be prepared to do some work. But I'm, I'm not sure, once again, with the, the old COVID thing, how they are operating these days. But Team Blue Groove. Go take a look and I hope you get a bit of inspiration from my very old handmade 112 pan car. Alright, on that note, see you next time. Bye bye.